All right, this is probably the last video in the saga of the junkyard engine that I had no use for when I bought it and then needed two months later. Uh, this is the engine that was in my red Jeep that I got this summer about, about uh, six months ago or so, and I've put about 5,000 miles on. I've got the head off, and there you go. There's number one piston. That's pretty well banged up. You see we even have a nice imprint of a valve right there where the first one fell and then banged around. And here's the head. Yeah, that's bad. That's your problem right there. Uh, wow, even like this one got mashed around. I got this this part part out. That's that's pretty well stuck. So that's junk. Scrap value, I guess. Interesting. See, these two, one, two, are different than three, four uh, glow plugs. So see how number two there on the left has a red line on it? There's no red on number three. Well, that's the old style. And if you see the tip, there's the tip. And there's the tip of the old style. So. Two of these glow plugs have been replaced with the new all-metallic ones, and two are the original ceramic. The end of that one's all banged up, but I don't even think we can blame it for this. And it was a new metallic one, which is supposed to come apart, so... Yeah, I don't think the glow plug is a problem. It's probably just exhaust valves. Oh, and here's something else. This engine had rockers fail on it, and apparently... A couple little bits ran down and got caught in that oil galley. And we're just sitting in that oil return galley, never made it down to the pan. And it was getting, it wasn't blocking it or anything, but it was just stuff that was stuck in there that was forever gonna be stuck. Yeah, look at that, and that piston's trash. And, see that? The liner's trash, which kinda sucks. I mean, this all sucks, but Sucks a little bit more if the liner's bad. I have three used pistons sitting over there. I could have replaced just the piston and had a good short block, but now I need a liner too. And uh, you can't get the old style. I can't get these pistons anymore. This is the old style. You can only buy new pistons. And more importantly, you can only buy new rings with the, uh, with the new style pistons. So unless you manage to grab just a liner somewhere or use the liner and put it in with an old piston. You know, if you're looking to rebuild this, you'd probably be looking at getting four new pistons and liners, which I think the pistons with liners are like $350 each. Maybe, maybe less, I don't know. That's still a lot of money, though, for just the pistons and liners. It comes with new rings, but you really need to do all four of them because the weight's totally different. It's not the exact same, so then you'd have an unbalanced engine. So then you're replacing... Four, four pistons and liners, plus a head. A brand new head's like two grand, plus head gasket and other stuff. So, I mean, even this, which doesn't necessarily need, you know, bottom end work and bearings redone and all sorts of other stuff that basically just needs, you know, a new head and one new piston and liner. Even with that, you're talking like, what am I up to? Two grand for a head and, I don't know, for the 350. So, I mean, yeah, twenty five hundred bucks, three grand. Yeah, I mean you're getting way up there in price, you know, to the point where you're like, ah, four grand to get this thing rebuilt. If I do it myself, I just sell the Jeep at that point. Get more parting it out than you would fixing it. Yeah, it's banged up. Not sure I'll ever use this this block. I do have another block that's got this same problem in the in the number four piston. And again, I got good pistons for it, so I can that block I could put a new piston in and get a new head and put everything together. And I might do that. Might keep an eye out for for a used uh, cylinder liner and put that in, but eh, wasn't wasn't really looking forward to doing that job. All right, there it is. There's a couple intakes. There's a box of everything that came off of it. Look, there's another couple engines back there. One of them's a CRD with the bad valve. 
I got a lot of parts around. So I'm, uh, I'm not going to rebuild or do anything with this engine right away. Tomorrow I'll probably start by putting that head back in place and bolting everything that's in that box back onto it somewhere. I just really just want to put the parts back on it so that they're not taking up a whole box right there and instead are on the engine. And then I'll put the engine out of the way somewhere. Probably try to probably try to put the engine back underneath there. Clean out that stuff, throw away some things. And uh, just get this stored out of the way until I decide I'm going to do something else with it. But if I put all the parts on, it'll take up less space. Instead of being strewn all around the garage. Alright. Anybody want to buy a short block? One bed, one bed liner and piston. Alright. Thanks for watching. Hope that's it for this thing and I get a lot of good use out of the new junkyard engine in that Jeep.